join me on session at my Syndicate Lake Ferry as part of the Carp Society's waters and it is summer. So what I'm going to do very quickly is go through some of my top summer tips on how to get those fish on the bank in this hot weather. Right, tip number one, and it goes throughout all the seasons, location. But in summer, very much more so. So this session now, been here for 24 hours already. And before I actually put any of my kit up, I actually moved to three different swims with my kit before actually setting up and deciding on a swim. And that's purely because of just how mobile the fish can be in this warmer weather. They can be in bays, they can be in shallows, they can still be in the deep certainly as well. For me, for this time of year, the location is massive priority because they want to stay there. In summer, generally where you find them, they will be hanging out there. Yes, they're very, very mobile, but it's all about finding the areas they want to feed in. So where I've finally settled on has got lots of options. I've got shallows, I've got deeps at the back of shallows, but I've also got quite a lot of water. And yet again, that can be key. By owning a lot of water in your swim, it gives you many, many options, whether there be shallow areas, etc., etc. But for me, in the summer, as well as all the other seasons, location plays a huge part. You cannot catch what is not in front of you. Tip number two is this stuff, bait. Now, never more is there a time where bait is as important or as not important as in summer. Now, for me, I say important because I like to carry a load of things. Because as we said about opportunities and locations, things like you've got to have your surface bait kit here. You know, I've got lots and lots of bait available to me in shelf life in the in the van or whatever whether it be particles or boilies or pellets but I also have some prepped mix that always comes to the swim with me and that's purely because in this time of year you can build big hits of hungry hungry fish especially after that spawning period of time those fish really want to take back on those nutrients get good stuff back into them and they are eating in summer, naturally, they're eating more anyway, but certainly after that spawning period of time, they can be absolutely ravenous. So I say I'm a day and a half into the session already, and I've gone through half a bucket of crumb and pellet, nearly a couple of kilos of pellet as well. And this is on a water that I would not necessarily say is a bait orientated water. But bait is a huge part. Take what you're confident in, take what you know you're gonna be able to use, but also make sure you have enough. Now, for me, tip number three is the most important, and that is to be adaptable. Already this summer, I fish bags, zigs, floater fishing, heavy on the bottom, singles, and that is what summer fishing is about. We're trying to maximize on these opportunities. These fish are looking for something to eat, and we can sort of capitalize on that, and that is by being adaptable, presenting what they want, where they want to have it. So, as I said, PVA bags in margins or single rigs with a few scatterings can be deadly if you can see them in the margins. Obviously, zigs and floaters on the waters where you A, are allowed to use them and B, they work. They are a devastating tactic. And that can be single zigs or spotting over zigs. But certainly, as I said, in number two, bait also plays a huge part. So, making sure you've got the ability to bait fish as well. And I think that is most important, is to be adaptable, you know, I think in summer I bring more kit than ever because I've got every opportunity and every sort of tactic available to me. So certainly be adaptable in all situations. Right, the next tip is all about having the kit that you need to survive essentially. It sounds a bit dramatic and over the top, but there are certain essentials that you need really in these warmer weathers to keep you going. Things like loads of extra water, a hat, some glasses, things that are going to make you fish more efficiently because there is nothing worse than getting here, getting everything laid out and I've been there before and you haven't got enough water, you feel miserable, you've got rubbish food, things like that, but also things that are going to aid you finding fish like the glasses, like the hat in the summer and the warmer weather when that sun is blazing and be practical. Spare clothes, things like that, but also layers now it sounds really silly but obviously when it's bright sunshine i don't want to get burnt so i do generally find myself wearing one of the hoodies just to keep the sun off my skin directly but it's all about just being prepared and being ready for all eventualities and my final tip is to just keep going really um, there can be some really tough times after that spawning period where they are a bit moody but it's all about just keep going yes it can be hot yes it can be sticky but the rewards are massively massively there I know a lot of lads that 
this warmer weather comes and it just turns off their fishing. They've got other things on their mind, which is completely fine. Do whatever what you need to do. But if you want to catch fish in those warm weathers, you've got to be going fishing. So there we are, that's some of my tips. I'm going to get these rods out now and see if we can catch some of those fish using the tips that we've already showed. And there we are. Testament to getting it right, trying different things, using the bait, but keeping my eyes on the water. Unbelievably, 30 seconds later, this rod was getting reeled in to recast for the evening. But 26 pounds an ounce is, this farrier is common, is testament to getting it right in summer. Well, not long after slipping back that first common, a nice little mirror, and now they're getting bigger. 32 pounds an ounce is of farrier's awesome common carp. But as in yet again, same spot again, literally what I've been doing is as I said before, keeping that bait going in. Not loads, but enough to get a bite every single time. And this is an absolute chunk. Awesome. All right, slip it back. Well, it's very early morning and 37 pounds of farrier's commons in the net. The rod hasn't been back out half an hour. It is crazy. Keeping the bait going out, keeping the rigs going out and keeping these fish coming. I am absolutely buzzing with this. What a return to the syndicate and what a sort of video cementing. Do some certain things right and the rewards are definitely there for you. Thank you.